our intention as a school and as a church is to make sure that Woodall is highlighted as one of the community that is catering for the needs of his people academically. As it relates to internet service, fortunately our MP, Mr. Morgan, installed internet here at the Woodall Primary School. However, we found that even during the weekends, the, um, the parents were unable to access same. So the church took on an initiative whereby we installed internet service on the grounds of the Church of God of Prophecy, thus providing parents and the students accessibility to internet service so that they can be able to do additional work whenever they wish to. Now, previously we had an evening institute here at the Woodall Primary School where we sought to educate single mothers, um, fathers who may have been dropped out of school and wanted to do their CSEC. Fortunately, we had a number of young people coming in who did their CSEC English and they were successful at same. The Church of God of Prophecy, however, has seen that most persons are somewhat shy about letting persons know their academic level. And so we did a survey within the church and we realized that we have at least seven teachers who are affiliated with the church and can help to really push forward this program. We have three teachers who are high school teachers, one from Glenmuir High, one from Hampton, and one from Stumpenstone High School. And as such, we decided we'll take it from the cradle to the grave, because we have the others who are primary school teachers. We have one early childhood teacher. So we decide, let's come together, the, 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 the teachers at the church, they met, and we decided, okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put something in place to make sure that our youths in Woodall be empowered. I consider the Woodall community one of the brightest community across the length and breadth of Jamaica. Why? So many of our young people that are around right now are high school dropouts. And I'm not talking about any and any high school. I'm talking about their past for traditional high school. I am a past student of this institution. I have taught a number of them who are out there without a job. Some of them have c -sex subjects and they can't go any further. They may have just a few and want to do something else, but really don't have the finance to go to classes outside of the community. So the church has decided, here we go. We are gonna cater for our students, both from the cradle to the grade. So the primary school students on our weekends, they always have access to the code. Actually, they were the first ones to get the code for the church, the primary school students. And so we cater for those. We are looking now at implementing a program where we can have them doing their c -sex subjects. You know what is amazing? God has blessed this community and has blessed the church because we even have one of these high school um, teacher she marks for CXC. So therefore it means that we're getting, we're getting expertise in this program. And as such, we will not delay. We will not just sit back idly. We intend to make Woodall be on the map positively. And I can say this, we have to do this, not just for the community but our Minister of State in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information is the MP for this community. We can't let him look bad. And apart from that, when we look at the caliber of people that have been produced from this institution, the Woodall Primary, you have Donna Scott Motley, you have a Norman Reed, you have a Mr. Alpheus Wright, you have so many of these prominent persons, Dr. Dwight Lindo. These persons are looking to this institution and this community to represent and represent well. One of our students that passed her CXC English two years ago from the program here at Woodall Primary, would you believe that's her only subject? 
and she is over 50. So when I say from the cradle to the grave, we're not stopping at any age. Once persons are interested, we are going to go for it. We have not yet started the program. What we're doing now is to map out how best we can cater for these persons. Look at the schedule of our teachers and make sure that yes, they are there and on par with the needs of our students. I would really love to encourage our young people from the Woodall community. Don't be ashamed of the level that you're at. Our intention as a school and as a church is to make sure that Woodall is highlighted as one of the community that is catering for the needs of its people academically. Transforming lives, transforming the community. That's our aim.